In the year 2093, monsters suddenly appeared out of nowhere and humanity with all its technology and army fell to the monsters and the rising levels of crime during that time. They lost a lot of cities and humanity was almost entirely wiped out. If it wasn't for the rise of the masked hero that everyone to this day knows only as Zero. Zero was the first ever hero. He was so powerful he single-handedly defeated all the monsters and killed the giant demon king, or Godzilla, with ease. But just as how his appearance was sudden, his disappearance was like that too. After five years of killing the beasts and leading humanity's counterattacks, Zero disappeared without a trace into thin air. No one knows his location or whereabouts. No one except for us, that is. The main character of the show is called Lin Ji, and though he doesn't look the part, and is lazy as hell as well as unemployed, he is the greatest hero to ever live. Zero. Five years have passed since then and he is now living with his sister that has a crush on Zero, <laughs> if only she knew, and keeps nagging and threatening Lin Jie to kick him out if he doesn't find a job. While hunting for jobs, he passes by a fight between a well-known hero and a villain, or at least it seemed like that. Apparently behind the scenes, this man hero bribed the villain to let him beat him up in front of the audience and humiliate him. Things were going according to plan until they didn't. The villain got really pissed off, was all like, screw you and your money. He powered up and punched him straight in the face, launching him through the stage into a truck. During that time, an aspiring e rank hero decided to intervene and continue the fight to protect the civilians. And even though he kept losing, he never gave up and stood back up entering the fight. Lin Jia was inspired by his courage and decided to end things, so he pulled out a giant ass club. Yes, I have no idea where it came from, magic I suppose, and bashed his skull into the ground, giving the authorities the chance to arrest him. The E rank hero, going by the name of Zan Xin, is able to offer him lots of money, equipment, and influence if he just accepts and joins his party. However, Lin refuses his offers and disappears again into thin air. Zanshin doesn't give up though, and drags him down to his doorsteps to which he overhears a fight between Lin Jie and his sister for being a useless, jobless person. Zan then re-offers him a job to which he again refuses, but as soon as his sister hears there is money in it for him, she accepts and forces him to work as a hero. The next day, Zan and Lin go over to the Hero Association to take his initiation exam. This exam was for him to last one minute against a B-rank hero. And since Lin is zero, he will pass with flying colors. So, he did the normal reasonable thing that anyone who was overpowered would do, and decided to go even further and taunt him by saying, and what if I defeat you? The B-rank hero becomes pissed at Lin's taunt and goes all out against him, leveling the fighting field, but it was still not enough to beat Lin and he knocks him out cold with a knee to his face. He passes the practical but fails the written exam, just like another bullheaded hero that we know. So he ends up in the lowest ranks. With that, Lin is once again an official hero and warrior of justice, protector of the weak. They then meet another E-rank that everyone fears due to his bad luck curse, and he is apparently someone that was saved by Zero as a child. Then they meet yet a fourth E-rank hero and become a group made up of four E-ranks. On their first mission, they fight a blob-like monster made of dirt and polluted water. Luckily, Zahn created the perfect weapon to counter it, and after defeating it, they discover that the monster was just a young, lonely, innocent-looking girl. So they take her back with them, and they try to find out anything about her. In the meantime, her family relatives anything. While they are trying to talk to the child Dong Xiu, the Ice Queen, and one of the top three S-rank heroes in the city comes over to their base in disguise. She then reveals to them that the girl they found is mixed up in a more sinister plot than they can imagine. There is an organization that is using children to experiment on them and use them as weapons. Those who survive the process end up being used as weapons and those who don't die. Dong then continues to say that this girl is the only successful subject and hundreds of children have died to these experiments. Zan is sickened by this revelation, but it's nothing compared to the rage of Lin. It was so uncontrollable, he broke the glass, and everyone around him began to choke from the sheer power of his anger. 
After he finally calmed down a little bit, Dong told him that the heroes couldn't do a thing for lack of evidence, and for the fact that the head of the Hero Association and many other S-rank heroes are involved in this plot and in the creation of the serum. Linji then takes it upon himself to end them all and protect the innocent child so he keeps her in the care of his sister, buys her new clothes while in the meantime, Lin Jie is fighting off heroes and assassins that are attempting to hurt her and kidnap her back to that institute. They even set out an A-rank hero to kidnap her, and Lin Jie feels his presence and goes off to fight him. He then realizes through exchanging blows with Lin Jie that he is no ordinary E-rank hero and uses a power boosting serum that boosts him to the equivalent power of an S-rank hero. Sadly for that jump, he had no idea who he was going up against. The one, and the only, Zero. And his fatal mistake was threatening his family. So, in his fit of rage, he slashed with his sword, taking out the assassin, and half of a mountain with him. A lot of things then happen as a meaning to buy and sell the serum is going to take a place soon between the leader of the Hero Association and a powerful criminal organization. Dong, Lin Jie, and his party, with the help of the B-rank hero from the entrance exam, and the muscular heroes fight them off together. I'm not gonna tell you the outcome of said battle since it's too damn epic to miss and the animations within the show, especially the fight scenes, are just too good. So you better go ahead and watch it yourself, as the arc that comes after it is just pure epicness. <laughs> Thank you.